It specifically says that this is best for coarse, curly, and coily hair, and I don't know about that. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel! It's wash day. We're about to get into a cutie little wash and go. I've been really enjoying a couple newer products like on the low. And then also Innersense just launched a new gel called I Create Memory that I'm really excited to dig into today. So it's going to be a good one. I'm going to put you guys on some new products I've been loving and then we're going to explore a new gel. So let's get into it. I don't know about y'all, but winter has been destroying my scalp, but this has been saving it. So this is the new Brio Geo Scalp Revival Rosemary Pre-Wash Oil. Let me show you the texture. It has like rosemary oil and stuff. It's like a lightweight oil kind of texture and it is so good for moisture, for balancing your scalp and your hair. You can put this like on the lengths of your hair as well. It's just like a really, really good oil that I have really been loving. I My scalp literally has been so itchy. I think just, the combination of like working out, plus it's like so cold outside. My scalp has just been extra flaky, extra dry, extra itchy, just needing a little bit more attention than usual. So this has been actually a game changer on my wash days. Good little scalp massage to start off our wash days. Always a great start. Ooh, feels so good. You see that? That's a gray hair. And look at how long it is too. It does run in my family though. My mom is actually full gray, fun fact. <laughs> She dyes her hair black like every couple of weeks, but like literally when her hair, she has like new growth, it's like gray <laughs> at the roots. All right, so I am just going to clip my hair back up for a little bit and just kind of let this sit for a few minutes. And then I will meet y'all back in the shower to get the rest of this wash going. All right, got a good little rinse. For shampoo, I need to put y'all on to my new top favorite detox shampoo. I did not expect to love this. Honestly, if I'm being very honest with you, I did not expect to love this as much as I do, but it is everything you ever want in a detox shampoo. So this is the Living Proof Clarifying Detox Shampoo. It says it deeply cleanses and removes product buildup, and that is exactly what it does. Let me show you the texture. It has like charcoal in there and some other special stuff. But let me tell you what I really love about it. The way this makes my hair smell good for days and days on end is insane. And it also has an amazing amount of slip so I can actually detangle with this detox shampoo. It's everything, okay? It smells amazing. It gets the job done. It's like really deeply cleansing but not stripping to the hair. It is literally everything I would ever look for in a detox shampoo and I am obsessed. It stays in my shower now and I have recently for my routine, I have been using this every other wash basically because I've been working out consistently. Your girl is out here sweating, doing stuff. Um, so instead of just detoxing once a month, I'm now doing it twice a month, like every other wash. You wanna know when I really realized how much I love this is when George was here over the holidays and that's when I tried it for the first time and he was just like, babe, he kept smelling like literally sticking his head, his nose into my hair. Like, babe, your hair smells so good, it smells so good. And I was like, what is it that you're smelling? At first I thought it was my Brio Geo mask and he's like, no, that's not it. So I brought the shampoo to him and I was like, is this what you're smelling? He's like, yes, that's it. It smells so good. And I was like, oh my God, it's a new product. And yeah, so anything that's gonna give me that kind of effect, plus it's like super effective at cleaning your hair and stuff, we love. This, this is, I don't know what they put in it, but it's something special. My hair feels so good. By the way, I forgot to mention that this is color safe. It is silicone free and it is sulfate free. It says all of that on the bottle right here. There's not one bad thing that I could say about this product. Highly recommend. For deep conditioner today, I am thinking about just randomly going in with this Myel rice water deep conditioner. Yeah, rice water and aloe vera blend deep conditioner. I've only used this one other time, which was on camera with y'all. But I feel like when I used it, my hair did love it. And I like to use like something really nice and moisturizing and nourishing after a good detox. So here we go. Siri, what time is it? It's 12, 10 p.m. Okay, we gotta hurry up. I gotta be somewhere by 
I'm hoping that we can have my hair done, dried, and me even have enough time to walk Hirsch and all that, all of the above <laughs> before two. My hair has been fully rinsed out from the rice water treatment. It is looking and feeling really good, nice and clean and moisturized and ready to be styled. I still can't get over this length. This length is insane. It's insane. I did not think that we'd be back here, but here we are. So what we are experimenting with today is the Innocence I Create Curl Memory. This is a brand new product. I'm actually gonna pump it out. So just quick, you know I'm a huge texture person. So it is looking like a straight up gel. We do have some like stickiness, which tells me that we could get some really good curl definition from this with it being like so jelly-like. The way it smells, it smells like a typical Innersense product. It smells like almost a little citrusy, like a little bit of like a fresh citrusy lemony kind of scent. I'm not mad at the smell at all. This is touchable long lasting curls. Whenever you see something that says like touchable, I feel like that means like not super strong hold, like more of a light hold. Ooh, interesting. It also says best for coarse, curly and coily hair, which is us. It says it smooths, hydrates and holds all in a single step. It has bamboo extracts, some other fun stuff. And it's supposed to provide curl memory, improve manageability and boost moisture. So I'm really excited to give this a try. I have somewhere to be today. So I'm hoping that we can get volume and that this can dry like really quick in like an hour, but we'll see. I'm just gonna add back some water to my hair, comb that through literally once again. And as always just using water as like my leave-in conditioner. All right, and then I'm just gonna add two pumps to the section and see how it goes. We're definitely getting some really good curl definition, so that's good. It feels really nice and like silky. So with styling my hair outside of the shower, my hair is obviously not like as dripping wet, but I'm hoping that actually works to my advantage today. Cause like I said, I have places to be and I'm really hoping that this can dry very, very quickly. The one thing I feel like that could let me down with this gel is if I'm not gonna get the holes that I need. Maybe I should wet my hair more. You know what? I'm gonna wet my hair because I wanna make sure that I'm giving this gel the best possible chance to really succeed here. I'm just gonna continue to add more water and add more gel like as necessary to make sure that this is really gonna hold these curls together. Look at this, another gray hair. Are y'all seeing this? It's a broken off gray hair too. Um, you guys, I'm a little nervous because it's defining as I'm applying it, but then I feel like I'm already seeing a little bit of frizz, which is not ever a good sign. Like, look at this. I applied this two minutes ago and like you can see, it's just not, it's just not looking good. Like why is your frizz showing up already? Not even my mousse really does that. This is just not gonna give me enough hold. Look at this, this is styled. I styled that. Oh no, 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 no. Nope, we're gonna have to switch up the game plan. I think maybe I will keep the bottom half the way it is. It's already styled this way. Um, but I think going forward, I'm going to use my favorite mousse def, and then we can slap maybe a little bit of this gel on top and see how that works. We all know though that I don't need to pair anything with this mousse to be happy because this mousse is everything I ever want. What's crazy is that I feel like this mousse is having more holes than this gel, which is like, that's insane. I don't even know if I wanna put the gel on top of this thing, but I said we're gonna experiment with it, so let's see. Because we already know what the do looks like by itself. It's just weird though, because in my head I'm like, I already get perfect results from the mousse, so why would I be putting a gel on top? Like, what is the purpose, you know? Just extra moisture or something? I, like, I don't know. Cause it's not giving hold. Usually a gel on top of a mousse is to give extra hold, but this is not giving hold. I will say the combo of these two feels super extra juicy and I feel like 
my curls will be nice and defined from this, so we'll see. If this wash comes out really, really good, I mean exceptional, then of course we'll be happy with the combo. This might also be something that is a little better for my curls just right now while it's still winter and cold outside. The gel is definitely moisturizing, so maybe by adding this gel with the foam, is gonna help to give us like a really, really good like winter wash and go. I me reaching, trying to find ways for this gel to be useful for me. <laughs> very, very curious to see how it dries. You know what? This is gonna have to dry like amazing. Like I haven't seen my curls look like this in a minute for me to feel like this gel would be worth it. You know, for the gel to redeem itself, I need out of this world dry results. I'm trying to show you guys underneath because it's just so different. Look at the difference between this curls with a combo and this is just the gel by itself. Not a vibe, not cute. Okay, so it's 124. Let's diffuse and see how long it takes for us to be nice and dry and at least able to just go out in public. <laughs> Honestly, the way I'm feeling right now, if I'm being very brutally honest with y'all, I feel like I would have gotten better results if I had just used the mousse on its own by itself, no gel. A little disappointed, a little sad, because I do love Innersense. They have a lot of amazing products. As a brand, I love them, and they have amazing ingredients in their products, but this particular product, I'm a little bit confused by. My hair is looking fluffy. Like, I feel like it took away from some of the hold that I normally get from this mousse dab. Anyways, I'm gonna let this air dry the rest of the way, and then we'll do final thoughts and everything tomorrow on day two hair so we can really give it like the full chance all right y'all day two for some reason on top i have these super frizzy pieces curl definition is there but there's also i don't know a lot of frizz especially for day two i also do feel like we are lacking shine like my hair feels like it looks a little bit dull, which is kind of disappointing. I'm gonna see what I can do to finesse this, which just means going in with a little bit more mousse to maybe correct some of the frizzy spots, fluff her out, shape her out, and then we'll get into final results. But I just wanna see what I can do to finesse this and make this wash look as good as possible right now. So I'm just gonna take my other The Do Mousse. This is the Crazy Sexy Curl one that has like honey in it. I'm just gonna use that to kind of refresh all these frizzy spots and see what we can do. It's so weird that like just here is like extra frizzy, but usually just some extra mousse will get me right together. Having to refresh my hair on day two i will say not the move not my favorite <laughs> don't like that it's definitely not what we aim for after five minutes of refreshing these are what i would call our final results we got a lot to discuss so comparing the majority of my hair versus like the bottom where we just use like the gel alone I would say the hair that just has the gel alone on it is very, very crunchy. But it's not as frizzy, frizzed out as I thought it was gonna be. Um, we still have curl definition under here. So I feel, I just feel confused by this gel. It specifically says that this is best for coarse, curly and coily hair. And I don't know about that. I don't know about that. <laughs> I do feel like maybe I could see where this would work for a lighter curl texture, where your hair doesn't frizz as much, it doesn't frizz as easily. I'm just, I did not get what I thought I was gonna get out of this gel. This was just a really weird experience. So that sucks, that really sucks, but at least I was able to put y'all onto some really good scalp and detox products. I did go to the gym today, but my scalp feels absolutely amazing still, nice and fresh. My hair smells amazing as well. I had my mom smell it, she's like, oh my God. As usual, everything that I used in this video will be linked below and everything is also linked on my LTK. If you guys are ever looking for specific links, something that I mentioned, something that I wore, something that I used, anything, even stuff for the house, it's all linked on my LTK so I will include the link for my LTK down below so y'all will never miss out on the things that you need. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me. If you did make it all the way to the end of this video, I super extra special love you. Just make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any more amazing content. Join the family. I love y'all so much. I'll catch y'all same time, same place next week. Bye!